Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, I want to do a uh, market update, but I want to, uh, in this video here, I want to look at the bigger picture, the weekly charts. The last couple of videos I've done, I've been saying, are we ready for another leg down? Now that was on the daily chart, that's for the short term there, um, and looking at looking at the short term, short term picture there. But I want to revisit the weekly chart here because I think it's so important to keep a weekly perspective in this. Now, I, I was saying that for the last few videos, I was saying that, you know, are we getting ready for another leg down? I didn't know whether we were or not, but are we getting ready for another leg down? Now, here is the thing. By looking at the, okay, firstly, <laughs> someone said to me, uh, I, had, I had a YouTube comment say, why did you have a, you know, a chart side by side like the pros do? Are you? <laughs> Whenever I open up a chart like this, guys, um, oh, who cares? Um, who cares? Um, but the thing is, is that one thing I want to share with you in this video here is the psychology of the markets, okay? We can have, uh, when, we, when we're talking about moves, okay? Now, here is the thing. There is, there is buyers and there's sellers in the markets, okay? There is, there is buyers and there's sellers. There are either could be very weak sellers or there could be very strong buyers or strong, strong, strong sellers. Either, 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 either there. What I mean by that is that if the market has a nice move up like that, would you say that's a pretty nice buying leg? The buyers are pretty strong through here. Yeah, right? Or if the market did this, would you say that the buyers, the buyers are there, right? But they're not as strong as this one here. Makes sense, right? So one thing that's so important to see um, on the on the weekly chart is by looking at the weekly chart and by looking at what, what, what by looking at the weekly chart and by understanding what's going on right now on the weekly chart, we can see here that right now, um, now I didn't know whether we're going to get a bit a bit of a short term drop out of this uh, on that daily chart because we were creating we were creating some sort of lower high here, but it doesn't look like it's going to do that. Um, that. That was on the short term there, but the bigger picture has always stayed intact and. And you can see this is exactly what the what the what gold is doing as well too. Look at this here, okay? Look at this here. Is that? And I talked about this for you guys that watched the video. I think I did it about a week ago, at the start of the week. Look at this here. We've had this very strong move up, and we've only had a very small pullback here. So we've had a very strong buying leg, and a very weak selling leg. Now this is the weekly chart, right? The daily chart we could have a few more down days, and then it picks back up, and that's where like the daily charts it's. Yeah, it's, 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 it, it does its thing, right? But the weekly chart really gives you the story here. But we, so we've had a very strong move up. We haven't even retraced 50% of this retracement here, and now we're picking up already. So it's really, really, really interesting to see what's going on, what's going on right now in, in the markets, okay? So in my last few updates, I thought, you know, well, maybe maybe we're gonna get a bit of a leg down, because I thought, I thought, by looking at that daily chart, maybe we're, we're going to get just a bit, a bit more of a pullback to say the fifty percent level, um, and then, and then you know, and then that that'll be it. But as you can see, right, we had a very nice move up and a pullback, and it didn't even get to the fifty percent level. It held right at thirty percent, and now we're picking back up again. So the market's looking the the, the those weekly charts right now are picking up, looking very strong. Didn't even retrace to the fifty percent level, which I thought was going to happen, but it didn't even do that. So. Is this, the, is this now, um, we, I still believe that the market's not likely to break out to new highs because, um, because we, we, I still believe we, we, we need a bit more time here. We've had this very strong buying leg and now we've only had this very small pullback here. So, um, but again, anything can happen, right? But what I'm saying here is that we've had used all this energy. We need, we need a bit more time to, to reload that energy. Um, same for the Dow Jones, right? We had a lot of energy going up and now we're just having a bit of a pullback. So, um, I think we need a bit more time um, to go sideways to, to 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 get ready for another move, um, and so um, so that's that's what I'm looking at there right now, guys. Again, the Dow Jones almost got to its fifty percent level, but didn't and came back up and rallied right back up again today. So it'll be interesting to see whether this is going to be a high or low. I don't think we're going to break up to new highs just yet, um, only because once again we've had we've had su such a um, we've had such a big move through here. We had all this energy, and then we had this bit of a pullback through here. So um, I would say it's probably going to take a bit a bit more time. If it is going to break up to new highs, it's probably going to take oh, who knows? I'm guessing, right? But um, I think we I think we need to spend a bit more time 
um, may, maybe having a bit more of a pullback or a bit more of a sideways movement to re-energize, refuel before we go for another run. So that's the weekly chart there, guys. But the weekly chart's still looking very, very strong.